For a new virus, it's never happened this fast before. Potential vaccines are entering final phase three clinical trials. It's a process that usually takes years, if not decades. So how can it be happening in months and without compromising safety? I believe it's possible. You just need to put the effort into it. And a lot of money. And a lot of money. At Laval University, Gary Kobinger is working on a potential COVID-19 vaccine. He says no one's sacrificing safety. Instead, vaccine development is mainly being sped up by advanced manufacturing, global cooperation, and designing flexible clinical trials. Now everything is compressed. People are lining up their phase two as they are doing their phase one. Phase one is a safety trial. The potential vaccine is given to a small number of healthy volunteers. Normally, one phase ends before another starts. But if early results show the vaccine is safe, health regulators continue to monitor it and allow phase two to run at the same time. Phase two and phase three can overlap as well. We're spending way more money than we would spend on a regular development track. Regulators worldwide, including Health Canada, are also working together to oversee the vast amounts of data from those trials, resulting in a much faster review time than the standard 300 days. If a vaccine proves safe and effective in getting the immune system to fight this coronavirus, those changes alone could shave years off the development process. But companies are also banking on that advanced manufacturing. Meaning let's just invest in manufacturing, let's have the doses ready. And if the vaccine is a good candidate, we don't have to go back to do the manufacturing. We already have the doses available. It's never been done before, but leading COVID-19 vaccine contenders are now producing their vaccine. So even though it is a lot of investment to manufacture at risk, it is compressing timelines. Safety checks are baked in, but when a vaccine fails, and most of them do, it's expensive. Outside a pandemic, it's a risk few companies would ever take. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.